When Butkus retired, he held the NFL record for opponents' fumbles recovered, 25. He also made 22 interceptions. But because wins were so hard to come by for the Bears, he had to find his victories wherever he could. Usually that was in one-on-one -on -one scrums. One time I fired out on a sweep and I caught him and I sort of set him to the side. He got mad and he threw a roundhouse punch at me and I saw the punch coming and I thought, well, what's he gonna do, hurt his hand? When he threw that roundhouse, his fingernail got in and it slipped me right under the eyelid. We got into the game and um, about the fourth quarter and we're losing. I think we're down 17, maybe, maybe two minutes left. We're on defense, so he calls the, the play. We go back out. In those days, you know, they didn't go down on one knee. All of a sudden, Butkus calls a timeout. 10 seconds left, it's first down. Everyone looks like, oh man, what's he doing, you know? I finally figured out what he was doing. Go run 100 miles an hour when Flanagan snapped the ball, smash him and jump up and call timeout because you want another five hits on the guy, you know, before the game was over. When Chicago played Detroit, Butkus made it personal. It felt like real lions and bears going at each other. Charlie Sanders tried to make a necklace out of my teeth. I mean, he just hit me so hard, cracked me all the way across here. Go back to the huddle, and I'm bleeding like a pig, and Dick looks at me and says, what happened? So what do you think happened? And a few plays later, Charlie Sanders went over the middle. Dick hit him and caught him right in the chest, right in the head, and leveled him. The hit was so hard that I actually didn't feel it. You know, you hear people say, well, you know, I was shot. But I didn't feel the bullet. I think he hit me so hard it actually numbed me. Butkus embodied the brawny city for which he played. In his raw passion and ferocity, he was Chicago, the poet Carl Sandburg's city of big shoulders, and the people embraced him. In his first eight seasons, he averaged 120 tackles and 58 assists and was named to the Pro Bowl every year. He's a great example of what this city is. I don't think this city is a boisterous city. I don't think this city is a loud city. This city is a strong, hardworking, blue collar city. And that's what Buckus was. It's iconic. It became mainstream iconic with Rocky and Sylvester Stallone calling his dog Buckus. Yo, Buckus! Yo, Buckus! It represents that aspect of the male personality that goes to war and fights for its country. It's our testosterone, it's our upbringing. But this is one of those iconic male figures.